Thank you, Disney, for this great offering of LEGO Star Wars. It's Naboo Starfighter 30383, 48 pieces. Wow, look at that picture of Darth Vader. He's not in the set. Who cares? Um, they've got this cool, like, I don't know, greebled? Just, just generic background. Like, that's a cool, cool background to print the whole thing. Yeah, huh? it extends all through the Star Wars logo. Is that on the boxes, too? I guess so. Well, anyways, um, we're going to build this set today. It comes from uh, Denmark, Hungary, Mexico, China, and the Czech Republic. Pretty normal stuff. And uh, Le Chasseur Nabu. Neat. That sounds cool. Uh, don't feed the babies. So how are all my LEGO users out there doing? Are we we having a great time? Whoa, I don't know if I've got any yellow, it's like a yellow lightsaber bar, but like just, just a bar. Oh wow, lots of good pieces in here. Um, seeing, um, these are frictionless? Yeah, those are frictionless stud to Technic adapter thing. Uh, this is R2-D2. This is the only figure in the set. And, oh, I was wrong. We have two R2-D2s. Very cool, Lego. Um, quick look at the instructions before we just jump right into it. Um, we got 10 on the front. We have a double step there. We have one double step, two double steps, and 16. There is no uh, advertisements or anything on it, which is, I mean, that's that's not so bad. That's a normal thing to have. Um, we also are starting out with this green piece. Huh, go, go figure that. It's going inside of here, though. And this goes here. So this is already getting a lot of shaping. Just a lot of lot of detail from the pieces molding. And they're just done like that. Always with uh, with Star Wars sets, it's important or any any Lego set really. I mean, you can you can do this with any Lego set that you buy. Is you you need to evaluate the value to you as a as a consumer. And so far, this is pretty, pretty good. I'm liking it. Lots of, lots of yellow. Um, I feel like yellow is not that common of a color in Star Wars to begin with. But second of all, poly bags. Like, I just feel like, oh, look at that thing. That's a one by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A one by ten. Wow. Ain't it a beaut? So we're throwing that in there. We're doing some wings. These wings are a little bit longer. So they're probably six long, so that makes 12 total. Yeah, that seems right. Flip it upside down. We're putting some boat studs on the corners. Boat plates. I forget what these things are called. What do you call these? Hmm, there it is. Um, yeah, boat, boat plate sounds good. Boat tile? They're boats. Uh, ooh, two by two inverted parabola. <laughs> no idea. No idea. So this is... Um, we're getting this brown piece in here. Nice. This is our first double step, which is to make two of these. It's a tile, nice tile to get, and a lantern holder or lamp holder. I don't know the, the, the correct terminology, unfortunately, because I don't speak Danish, so I don't, I don't understand what they're thinking. If you speak Danish out there, you know, maybe you have a little bit better insight into what uh, what Lego's thinking of when they name their pieces. Or maybe you don't. Maybe you're just as confused as the rest of us because they're a giant corporation that spans the entire globe in pursuit of rare and interesting plastic. Yeah, I was trying to make them sound sinister, and I guess building children's toys isn't really sinister honestly flipping the instructions over we're doing a um do one of these one of these and then nice nice use of double bracketing we're using a downturned bracket and an upturned bracket to uh to create a nice big bottom here because we're going to put this on here in a couple steps but i'm going to go ahead and do it now because i'm confident in my building abilities so put that there. This is where R2-D2 goes. R2-D2. 
Um, this piece rounds out the rest of the back. It makes it look real nice. And then we're throwing this guy goes here. Yeah, that looks good. Throwing on one of these. That really has a lot of shape to the front. The kind of mouth there, the very tip of the nose is kind of ugly as heck. Really ugly. Um, and then we're putting this. Oh, come back here. Look at that. It's a yellow long bar. It just slides in like that. Yeah, nice. Uh, so this is our last. We've got a two-step double. So it's a um, Technic extender. I don't know what you call this thing. I don't use Technic much, and I'm also apparently just a huge big old fraud for not knowing the name of any of these things. That's a uh, one by one with hole. We're shoving. Nope, we're not shoving that in. These are making the engines. They're up here. I think those are engines. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I guess they, I, I think they're engines, but they also shoot. They're shooty engines. That's not right. Nope, yep, it was right. Never mind. Um, doing one more of those. Pin goes in there. We're doing this thing. This thing, this thing, and then just just pops on. Yeah, yeah, crazy. Um, I guess I could adjust these. I could roll these. Well, not that one. I could roll that to hide the the. Um, I don't know what that's for. Just there's a hole in it. I was gonna say molding hole, but it. Why would they mold that in there accidentally or? Damn. Is that is everyone else having issues with that? That seems like a mediocre choice to have these things on there. If that's is that really how they go? They just stud it into a technical. Anyways, there's the build. Great swoosh ability, um, I'm assuming. I'm trying to decipher these instructions a little bit harder. It just says do the double step arrow here and here. So um, we've got a couple of extra pieces. We've got an extra R2D2 micro boy and he's got a little stand here we can even stand him up in the oops and then you get a little pen nice it looks really great um honestly it looks really good at that angle doesn't it yeah like the one on the packaging makes it look pretty damn good because here at this angle you can see that the there it is. This angle you can see R2-D2 piece is like <laughs> floating upwards and it's just because the the stock of it doesn't go that deep into the jumper piece there. Good colors. Um, would I get this as a parts pack? Eh, I don't think this is the greatest parts pack. Lots of cool pieces though. I definitely get maybe one of them just added to the collection. Um, it's a, it, it looks very appropriate. I think I will put it on my area of display until I get tired of it and then take it apart or I'll just put it in a Ziploc bag and forget about it and throw it into the bin. Um, yeah, I think that second one, we're going to probably put it in a Ziploc bag and throw it in with all my other Lego sets that I don't display. So um, actually really a shame, really a shame. It's uh, eh, just kind of not, I'm not, not feeling it actually. Like the front we talked about was weird. The bottom is whatever, but like, I mean, I guess you can forgive that. It just, I mean, it looks like it. It looks like a Naboo Starfighter. Just, I don't know. Just, I'm really not feeling it now that I have it built. Maybe that's just me. Uh, let me know what you think uh, in the, the comment sections. I always love hearing from my, my favorite LEGO users. Over here, actually R2-D2, you're gonna be something today. Um, this is my subscribe one, and that is the automatic video. That's how this works, and you guys know that. That's it for me for the day. Um, thanks for stuffing and commenting. and doing the thumbs.